Hey guys, it's Maria Chick and welcome back to Dark Souls. So last week was a little bit of a roller coaster because we had a really strong start. We found the skeleton lords in the Huntsman's Cops and if I don't say so myself, I think it went really well. We beat them pretty quickly, we didn't die, and I think I may have gotten a little bit too confident in myself. And then I was put back in my place by the Executioner's Chariot. I typically try not to give up on the boss fights when I'm playing, but that was just, that was something else. And I don't think I want to go back there, at least for a little while longer. So I've actually been playing a little bit on my own time, just kind of soul farming, I guess, just trying to get up a couple levels. I feel like I don't show this enough, but as you can see, I'm a level 87, and I think that's pretty high, and I don't know, I guess I'm just, I feel a little bit underpowered for the Undead Purgatory right now, so I might just try to get up a few more levels and then head back. But as you can see, I put a couple more slots in, I've started investing some points uh, into the Endurance, the Vitality, and the Vigor a lot more. Um, I'm kind of not really doing the strength right now or the dexterity. I'm taking a little bit of a break from the adaptability right now because I feel like I poured so much into there. So we're just going to kind of try to round ourselves out a little bit. But where I want to go today is somewhere I haven't been <laughs> in a long time and probably should have went back to and it's Sinner's Rise. So we're going to head back to this bonfire continue on because I don't want to keep finding new areas. I just, <laughs> I need a little bit of regularity here. I also changed up my armor setting just, just a little bit. So main thing is, is I actually put on the Dranglate shield. I put it in my item box a while ago, but someone mentioned that having that 100 points in the physical defense, I believe that's what it's called, that stat there, compared to 90, which is what my previous shield had. Apparently that's going to be a significant difference, so I just sacrificed the weight, kind of moved things around, and now we have the Dranglaic Shield. Unfortunately, though, I can't seem to parry anymore. I've been trying, but I, I swear I had one good parry day, and I've never been able to do it again. So I'm going to be relying on this just for a little bit more of defense. I think we cleared this area. And the big guy's over there, but we're not gonna bother him. He ain't bothering us. I think we gotta go down. No oh, oh, okay. I knew there was more of you. Oh. I don't wanna get knocked off the cliff this early. Oh, there's a few more. We got the archers. Okay, that could have gone better, but it's okay. Warming up a bit. I've <laughs> been playing a lot lately. I just feel like I need a Dark Souls break, but I also just I need to keep going. This game is so big. There's no time for breaks. Ugh. End of the line. Oh, it's dark in here. Oh, shoot. I should have brought a torch. Let me go grab a torch. Okay, this is much better. Every area here is just so dark. I mean... It's really Dark Souls. Oh, this does not look good. <gasps> oh! What the heck? 
Is that the f <laughs> is that the flexile sentry? What on earth? What on earth is he doing here? <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, we need the shield. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, you're hard. Why are you so difficult? Alright, we're just gonna do it like this. I think this is working. Oh no, come back. Come back here. I wasn't- oh. <laughs> come back here! At least he can't fit. Nobody likes the bow. Oh, wait, what the heck am I doing? Wow, I seriously have all the defense in the world and he's still... Still... Completely fucking me up! I literally feel like they just, they just stuck the boss back here! Oh my god, that sucked. Look how many Estus flasks I already used. Not good. Not good. I hope he doesn't respawn. But I feel like he will! Okay, where am I looking? I just- I, th I feel like something's gonna come out of the water. And I can't see any messages? I don't know if you can leave messages in the water to see? Like, I need some words of wisdom here. Be wary of illusory wall in short, right? Alright guys, we're gonna look for an illusory wall. To the right. Oh my god, that's- <laughs> It scared me! I didn't think that was gonna work! What the heck?! I hear something. Oh, you can read There was a message, you just can't see it. Uh... This looks very dangerous. I know underwater platforms are a thing. <laughs> so, we're not gonna go yet. Wait, are there platforms in here? Could I just like drown randomly? I wanna see that rainbow we just got. Northern Ritual Band, one of the secret treasures restored in Aldia. Increases spell use, but at the cost of HP. This modest-looking ring contains very powerful magic. To imagine what unspeakable deeds were performed to create such rings, one need only recall the true fate of the residents of Aldia. I don't know what the fate of the residents of Aldia were, but I'm sure it sucked. Do I hear an archer? Is there somebody trying to shoot me? Oh, it's a mummy! a thing! How did I miss that? Large soul. We're gonna need all the souls we can get. Any more illusory walls? 
I guess not. Hey, man, I, I really need to get out of here. I don't like this at all. Oh, we got mummies! Lots of mummies. We're just gonna take them out now. Anybody home? Exploding mummy? Hmm. Empty room? Seems suspicious! I hear things, but I don't see things. I think that's what's making me the most nervous. What if it's a pursuer? Yeah! We opened a gate. There's also something over here. So maybe I should go there first. Before we continue venturing into a dangerous territory. I know there's gonna be something hidden in a corner. Message, what do you say? Try attacking. Hey! hey! Thank you! We got another silky stone! You can go give it to the bird. I don't think it gave me anything good last time. Oh my god, that phantom scared me. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? These are the ones I've been trying to practice by parrying on. It didn't really work. Okay, sweet. We got the keys. There's also a lever down there. We got a lot, of, lot to explore. Are you hostile? Okay, I think he's chill. We're just... <laughs> we're just gonna leave him. We don't want no problems. Alright, let's pull this lever down here. Oh, mummy! Why? Why does this always happen? We're not doing good on the Estes con conservation here. I'm just too scared to keep walking. I genuinely feel like I'm gonna walk into like an underwater platform and die! Yeah, I'm not even looking for illusory walls anymore. I just want to go. Uh oh. You won't let me go, though. Whoa! Where'd you come from? Any more? Who else wants some? Who else? I, I know there's someone in here. A lot of blood pools. It's making me nervous. There's something there. <laughs> Let's watch if somebody else did. That was useless. So they're gonna attack me if I take this? A oh, Pharos's locked stone. <gasps> what did I do to deserve such great things in this game? This literally looks like it all goes to the same place, does it? <laughs> we have all these stairs and and doors. It's kind of weird if it just all went to the same spot. Even my eye on you. Oh, it literally goes to the same place. What was the point? Oh, maybe like a shortcut. Maybe. Liar ahead. Oh, is this a boss already? Tell me it is. Behind and then tears. Oh, it definitely is. I... Uh, if it's a boss, that's not good because I used up all my Estus. And if that Flexile Sentry's back there... 
It's all gonna be gone again. I don't feel like something's gonna come out of this chute. What's all those smooth and silky stones? Oops. I'll have to do some bird trading. Oh ho! Poor soul ahead. Hope required ahead. Alright, I'll take a radiant life gem. Maybe this will be a life gem only boss if we can even beat it. Pointless. Is it though? My torch. Yeah, it does seem a little pointless. Maybe when we come back, we'll bring a torch. Because this definitely isn't going to be the, the first time. First and last time we're here. Okay, try beating to a pulp. You were a boss. <laughs> Therefore, good luck. Woman, woman. Maybe we'll fight a woman. Well, it's probably not a good idea, but it's okay. We have a lot of life gems. in here. The lost sinner. like dancing or something. It's like some kind of musical routine we're doing here. Happened, but that was awesome. We got a lot of souls and we didn't die, so we didn't have to go through the whole trying to get back here thing. You worry of bug in short, poor soul. <laughs> oh, the bug! Are they talking about the bug that went in his, his eyeball? Hurrah for bravery. By the way, nice job. Thanks, Dark Souls. I gotta start leaving messages around here soon. Imagine if there was like a boss fight part two. 
<laughs> right past these stone. Oh, I cry. I see a bonfire. Ooh, a chest. Thou art safe. A fragrant branch of your Yes! Elizabeth Mushroom. If I'm not mistaken, did we not meet a mushroom named Elizabeth in the first game? Hmm, maybe it wasn't Elizabeth, but it definitely sounds familiar. Okay, let's read this. Specially treated dried mushroom. Creates a euphoric sensation when ingested and restores a large amount of HP over time. Saint Elizabeth devoted her life to helping the needy by concocting medicine and potions. It's thought her great virtue was matched only by her sublime beauty. But who can say now? If we did in fact meet Elizabeth the Mushroom, I can attest to that for her great virtue and sublime beauty. That was a great mushroom we met. I'm pretty sure her name was Elizabeth. I could be wrong. But if that's a connection to the first game, then I am all for it. Nice job in short bonfire ahead. Victory ahead. Comfort and then happiness. Alright, let's light this bonfire. A primal bonfire was rekindled. Wait, what the heck is going on with this guy we just beat? Everything's different for some reason. Let's read his soul. Wait, did we get a soul? Oh, look, this one's like special. It looks like a, like a flame. Soul of the Lost Sinner. Prisoner of Sinner's Rise. The Lost Sinner eternally punishes himself. Herself? Oh, it is a woman! Like the message said. So the Lost Sinner eternally punishes herself for the sins of her past. Use the special soul to acquire numerous souls to create something of great worth. I mean, just judging based on the icon, I definitely want to use that to make something cool. I'm not just gonna let them be souls. That's... That's pretty cool. Return to the far fire. I believe that's Majula. Alright. Let's go. Let's see if she knows anything about that. Do you know what the lost sinner is? You have acquired the soul of an old one. That is more than most undead can say. Well, that's nice. Apart from her usual dialogue, we got a little something. That tiny thing inside the ruins. An ancient being that will mock your very existence. She imparts sound wisdom. Provided you find her on a good day. Cryptic. Okay, let's level up. We're going to do... Let's do an adaptability. We'll do maybe an endurance. Maybe a vitality. Maybe a strength. So I really want to get that equipment load up. And I mean, it does give you a little bit of HP as well. Not as much as the bigger, but I think that is good. If not, I believe there is a way where you can, I guess, redistribute your points. I don't think we're at a point where we can do that yet, but I mean, worse comes to worse. It's fine. We all make mistakes, and it seems like we could easily correct those at some point. All right, just since I'm very curious, I just want to give the birds this. Oh, we have two! See what they give us. Yeah, yeah! Silky smooth! Alright, what do I get in return for that? You, you, give it smooth. Yes, you! I have, like, Way too many of these. Why- uh, can I get like a cool sword or something? Stop giving me <laughs> items to invade! That's the last thing I want to do. If I can't beat the Executioner's Chariot, you, you bet I'm not going into somebody else's world. Man, this is just a horrible idea. Okay. Oh no! Oh! 
Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I used it. What does that mean? What did I do? What happens when you use a silky stone? Oh, my bad. Oh, there's a torch to light over there. I wonder how we get to that. Yeah, there's two up there. I want to light all the torches in this area, but I can't seem to figure out how to get up there. Oh, I found it. I'm too good. I'm too good. All right, how many more are there? Oh, there's st still that doesn't. <gasps> what the heck? What the heck is that? What are you doing? Oh, sorry. You know what? <laughs> I know some of you guys complain about me using the bow. So, oops. That's why I. <laughs> That's why I use a bow. A petrified something. Oh, I wonder if that would happen when I <laughs> lit up all the torches. <laughs> That's so weird, though. I didn't even get a warning or anything. I also have a petrified something. I chose it as my, like, starting gift. And is that smooth and silky? Yes, you. Give us smooth. Yes, you. Give us silky. I mean, if it says it's pleasant to touch. Yeah, let's put one down, since I accidentally used my smooth and silky stone. You like that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They do! Yeah, yeah! Silky smooth! A go, white go, ring. Go, go. Hey, stop it. Let me- <laughs> Let me look at my ring, please. The white ring. A precious ring which grants the protection of Quella, god of dreams. Makes its where appears a phantom misleading invaders. <laughs> he says the trap must be wary for traps are known to spring upon their owners. What does that mean? Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna give them my other one. Maybe if we get invaded, I'll try it. <laughs> but then if it says it's also a trap, I'll, I'll somehow probably end up doing more more harm than good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Silky smooth. Oh, twinkling titanite. You, you, give it that's yeah, that that's really good actually. <laughs> I think my shield actually takes the twinkling titanite, but I haven't gotten one in so long. So, we can probably do some fun upgrades with that. So another place I wanted to head back to with you was back here in the Lost Bastille, because when I was just playing on my own and running around trying to find things to kill, I found this ladder that is literally right beside the bonfire that I did not see before, and I was like, have I been down here? But I don't think I have, but I was too scared to go down because the messages say to be wary of tough enemy, and then now the real fight begins. This one says, boss ahead, therefore try allies. I was too scared to go down, but I say why not now? We'll tread cautiously, but I mean, the bonfire's right there, so I think we'll be okay. Oh, look at that! It's one of those Pharos' lockstone things! Oh my god. I want the Pharos' lockstone. We just got more! I want a chance to use them! Oh, that's his curse move. Okay, come and fight me in the middle. Uh oh 
What are you doing? No! Why? Why? Why you do that? Why you curse me? Curse you. No! I almost had you! Oh. I guess even when you just even try to leave the area, he gets mad. Yeah, let's use the Pharos' lockstone. I think we have two now, so still have one more to spare. I forgot- Oh, I didn't even see these here. Hold on. A large club. And a priest's chime. I'm assuming that's some kind of magical weapon that I don't have the- <laughs> Yeah, I don't have the ability to use. I think that's faith or something. A sacred chime granted to high-ranking clerics, a catalyst for miracles and hexes. Drangleic was the home of many clerics, but King Vendrick held a lukewarm opinion of their powers and kept them only as attendants to ceremony. In this sense, Drangleic was not the place for a cleric with any ambition. I know somebody that hates clerics. It ain't me. And what else do we get? We got a large club. Oh, also, <laughs> I just want to mention this. Rickard's rapier here. <sighs> Apparently we killed Rickard, and I indeed think we did back in the first game. I can't remember the area, but I am very, very ashamed to say that my actions have probably led to the reasoning behind that we got that weapon. <laughs> so, uh, my bad, Rickard. Now, where's that large club at? Oh, that's a bone staff. It looks like a large club, though. Large wooden club, not an elegant weapon by any means, but a beastly thing with plenty of weight to easily break a shielded defense. Could be handy, just not right now. Oh my god, no! I don't want a new area! <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a room of loot! Hurrah for victory. Oh no, what did it say? Belfry Luna? Alright, let's take a peek. Oh. Oh! Hello? The bell belongs to the princess, it do. Stay back and we slice, slice you to bits. Me and my chums, we shall be met. You're gonna slice me? Stay back all your pieces. Tiniest pieces. <laughs> You're already a tiniest piece. You're the tiniest piece between the both of us. A long, long, long time ago, the princess, she made me. Yes, just like so. To guard this bell for the prince's honor. Stay away, foul and dead, or you'll be a goner. <laughs> you are weird. Stay back! It belongs to the princess, it do. <laughs> you wish to guard the bell, you do. For the prince and the princess forever. For true. What the heck? Abandon your covenant and join the Bellkeeper Covenant! Was that mean I gotta be one of these guys? You know what? I have been talking about wanting to get a new covenant. We've been stuck in the same covenant since day one and it has not brought anything to us. So these people look interesting and I'm going to join them. A bellkeeper's seal. Round the bell, you'll be brought near. When the bell is in trouble, the ring brings you here. Slice, 
whoever they are, wherever, whoever they live and they fall. Oh, this is a PvP Such thing. For the princess. <laughs> I kind of want to kill him. But I just joined his covenant, so I can't do that. So based on the sounds of it, if the bell rings and I'm wearing the ring, I come over here? Is that what it is? Oh, I see. Look, they're like covenant rings. They kind of look the same. Ring of the Bellkeeper Covenant. Join this covenant and wear this ring to be automatically summoned to the world of an invader of the Bellkeeper's domain. The twin bells symbolize the bond between two lovers who can never be united. The bell keepers are their eternal guardians, for that is their love, that is their curse. Oh, well, that's kind of sad. I'm not going to wear that ring, though. Tongue. No, we're not even going there. Oh god, this is so freaky. Hurrah for ring. Ren required a head. Hurrah for duo? What the heck does that mean? Be wary of giant! I genuinely am angered that little ledges like this are the... Like, I, I can't do them. I, you just can't step up? We can fight all these crazy things, so we can't walk up a ledge. Defeat a head. Oh, there is something not good up. What the heck?! Hey! I thought I was one of you! Oh no! Am I gonna get in trouble for that? Look carefully. Skeptic Spice. Alright, okay, let's make sure no more little people are coming after us and... Look for that. Oh, we already have one! It lowers the faith by one. We don't use spells, so this is <laughs> kind of useless. <laughs> Item ahead. Oh, I think we can drop down there, I guess? I don't want to do that, though. At least not yet. It help me. There's someone here. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. This is so weird! Why am I in the Covenant, then? Like, I thought we were- I thought we are cool! I- I feel like that- that other guy is gonna get mad at me. Okay, what's this rusted coin? I- Do they do it? Oh, temporary boost luck. Crushing the coin temporarily boosts luck. This rusted coin gives you that little extra bit of luck, making items and the like easier to find. The coin is engraved with the image of a god that was worshipped in ancient times, but no one knows its true origins. Never used one. Oh, there's a ladder too. Gorgeous view ahead. It's a boss. <laughs> Jog ahead. Cardio day. Oh, we can't even go in. Alright, I guess we have to go up the ladder then. Oh my god! Why is this? What is this game? Oh my god! What the? Oh my god, please stay away from me. Please, please, please stay away. Oh my god. These. Okay. These guys are hard. What the heck? Snipe me right in front of me? What are you doing? Where's the other one? I know there's one more. Come at me! Oh my god, I can't believe I almost had my butt kicked by those! Radiant life gem and a twilight herb. Oh, there you are! I knew there was another one. Oh, a bellkeeper bow. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> maybe maybe it's better than our sea bow. A wooden bow used by bellkeepers, very light and requiring hardly any strength. Well, I put
put my points into strength. That's the point. I don't want this. If it's if it scales with dex, it's not happening. The bells symbolize forbidden love. The bell keepers, their faithful guardians, ever ready to annihilate trespass. If I'm a if I'm a part of the bell keepers, though, why? Uh, maybe this is still forbidden territory. They will stand watch forever and ever. These determined, if ill-fated, marionettes. Yeah, we're just gonna stick with our sea bow. I'm a little nervous to pull this. Like, I feel like a whole bunch are just gonna come running out. Maybe that opens the gate right below us. Uh oh. Oh no, that's not good. That's very not good. I don't like. Oh no. Oh no! What? I've been invaded! Fuck! Get out of here! Oh shit. <laughs> Let's just go in the- no. Oh god. Fuck! I'm so confused! I thought- That would have been my job? It said, though, that, that if the bell rings, I could be summoned. Why are they- why does everybody hate me? Alright, well, luckily when I came back, the gate was still unlocked for me to go through, so we don't have to deal with that again. I'm so confused why all these messages keep talking about jogging. I guess we'll just jog then. You guys again? Did I not already deal with you? Oh my god, I definitely did. I'm pretty sure it has the same soundtrack too. Oof. Can people this covenant co not come help me or are we just... We all look horrible to each other. Oh no. That wasn't good. <laughs> oh man, Dark Souls 2! You just- you just ripped off Dark Souls 1 with that! With the- <laughs> It's the same music, I'm pretty sure. Looks like the same area too. That's that's actually too funny, but you know what I think I'll do in the meantime. I mean, we may as well try the Pursuer again. I really just kind of want to get this guy over with. I really want the souls. I lied, let's just go. Let's just go. You follow me in here? Alright, goodbye. Okay, uh, I guess we could try that again. I wonder if there is a... There'd be a summon sign for this. I find that just... Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like when we have so many enemies to fight, and never mind just being on a roof, it'd be nice to have a summon sign, but I mean, I did it in the first game, I'm sure I can do it again. Oh my god, if these guys don't kill me first! If I... I might be mistaken by saying this, but I'm pretty sure in the first game Oh, we got a shield! Sorry, let me look at this shield before I before I forget. I want to see it. I want to get all this bellkeeper story. Oh, it literally looks stupid. A wooden parma issued to bellkeepers is very light, requiring hardly any strength. And just goes over the stuff. Forbidden love and all that. But I used... I remember I was experimenting with using... Oh my god, nope. Let's just go. I guess we're just going. I guess we still can 
get invaded. Yeah, get out of here. What I was gonna say is that I'm pretty sure they were weak to lightning, but that's not really my strength. But we got the fire, and that's about it. Just as bad as I remember in the first game. Alright, I think I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a while, and that is use a human effigy. <laughs> we have 23. I think we're doing pretty good. I wanna see if I can actually get a summon send for this fight. I haven't really been summoning, and I know a lot of times it's very important for the... Whoa, my... Gotta get my health back. I know it's really, really important for the storylines of sub NPCs so honestly I just am hoping on Lucatiel maybe we can find her not the pursuer <laughs> and we'll see if we can get these uh these gargoyles out of the way I took off my ring of binding and I put on the one that helps with the enemy poise so I don't know if that's gonna be helpful at all, but it doesn't hurt to try. Oh, nice! Who's this? Touch summons? It doesn't say who it is, though. Oh. Masterless Glencore? Glencore? I mean, why not? If we die, it's fine. <laughs> I did need to use a human effigy at some point um, to get my health back up. Okay, come on. We're just gonna run. Nope. <gasps> you dick! You- oh my god! Oh. <laughs> that- that's it. We're never- no. No. I'm so... I'm angry. I am so angry. I think this is the same person, too. I... Oh. Okay. I promise I'm just gonna do this one more time. I restarted my game in offline mode because that... I'm sorry, that's really annoying that we get invaded and I can't even go through the fog gate. So I'm gonna go summon that... that person again and... Hopefully they're there. Man, how cool would it be if we could just take the Pursuer with us? Imagine if, like, we just, you know, put aside our differences and work together. We'd be literally unstoppable. But no, he chose violence, like these little guys did. Ugh, oh, one day I'll be good, I promise. Just, just not today. Okay. Is this a joke? Is this a joke? I can't- I can't escape it! Alright, Glen- Glen Cower, help me! We got a bellkeeper spirit, apparently. Oh, I wanna try my ring. The one that makes me look like a phantom? Yeah, let's put that on. Where'd it go? <laughs> I don't know what this does, but we're gonna do it. Thank you. I don't know what's going on today. You you take him, Glencore. Oh, uh, bye. Okay, let's take off that ring. I'm gonna put back on the the place one. I don't know if it's gonna help. Now we're not a phantom. Get our souls back and let's go do this. <laughs> Come on, Glencore. I don't even know where that spirit. 
Sometimes you just need a summon sign. Kind of reminded me of the Four Kings as well. Where... <laughs> you didn't just have to fight Four Kings. I learned that the hard way. They just keep coming. I wonder if there's some kind of mechanic for that too. That... If... Mm, I don't know. Soul of a Proud Knight. Let's, let's read... The, I want to read their souls. I want to see if we got any more connections to the first... First game. Belfry Gargoyle. The elaborate stone statues on the Belfry mysteriously came to <laughs> mysteriously came to life. Use the soul to yeah. I got it. Oh, that was that was so much more fun with the summon. And playing offline too. That that probably helped. I mean we got invaded, which is funny because we didn't actually even <laughs> run into them. Nice job. I know to be very cautious when I read these out loud. <laughs> Hurrah for victory! That's all that matters. Okay. That was really annoying, but I'm happy it's over. Silence ahead, therefore comfort. Tight spot ahead. Alright, that guy just went for opening that chest, so it must be safe. Southern Ritual Band. We're getting a lot of rings. Let's see what that is. Oh, we have the northern one. Now we have a southern one for allowing attunement of additional spells. This modest looking ring contains very powerful magic. To imagine what unspeakable deeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Aldia. Yeah, I figured. Maybe we'll find a western and an eastern ring. Why do I feel like the pursuer is going to show up? Be wary of boss. That's not what I wanted to hear. Oh, there's a- there's a ladder? Wait, where are we? Why does this look like we're back in the lost Bastille? Fry Luna. Well, I said I didn't want to explore any new areas, but I guess we are now. But first, I'm gonna go level up. Alright, it doesn't seem like sniping's uh, <laughs> the method for these dogs. I can't, can't seem to hit them, so we're gonna have to take them on all few at a time. We've 
gotta be choking. Vorgel, the sinner. I will punish you for your sins. Really, dog? Really? <laughs> Be vanquished. Oh, an enchanted falchion. Oh, and a human effigy to make up for the one that I used so carelessly and lost. I'm still kind of upset about that. Not gonna lie. Let's check out that falchion, though. Because I really want to start getting enchanted, enchanted items. Okay. Oh, it's a, it's a dex weapon. Oh, well, actually, though, no, they, they scale the same. A standard curved sword. Each slash of a curved sword does less damage than a straight sword, but can deal a series of hits in flowing succession. The sharp blade is effective at causing bleeding, but is soon dulled. Beware when facing rock-solid foes. That... Ugh. I don't really think I like that. I mean, if, if it does bleeding, cool, but we're sacrificing damage and durability. That doesn't sound like the kind of trade-off I want. Alright. What do you give me, dog? Oh! A human effigy. Thank you. Feeling a lot better about this. A dragon tooth. A petrified something and a bright bug. So we can go trade that with the, with the birds, but I don't know what the Right, buggies? Inflict more damage, receive less. Yes, please. A tiny bug that produces light. Bright bugs are said to comfort the dead and are found in the marshlands leading to the undead crypt. By ingesting a bright bug just before death, the moment at which they glow most brightly, one attains great power for a short time. Often utilized as a last resort for adventurers who have lost their way. Has no effect in other worlds. So, can we only use it just before death? Or can I just use it for their benefit. Oh, did we also had a dragon tooth. A giant dragon tooth used as a great hammer. As solid as a boulder, this tooth is said to be taken from a dragon, but the truth of this claim is unclear. What is certain is that it bears some mystical power, and its wielder gains resistance to magic- Oh, that's cool. Resistance to magic and fire. Is this not the weapon that, or I might be wrong, that Havel used? Can we even wield- Oh my god, I need 50 strength. What the heck? Maybe one day. Just, just not today. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I think we made some really awesome progress today. Even though we ended up finding a new area, Belfry Luna. I'm pretty sure we finished it. It doesn't look like there's anywhere else to go, so... That's one check mark for me. And we also went back to Sinner's Rise, and I believe we also may have completed that area. Aside from where that illusory ball was, I'm just nervous about water platforms, but maybe, maybe we can try that again. <laughs> but just not yet. So I would consider these to be check marks off my to-do list. Now I think our kind of <laughs> next areas are gonna be Harvest Valley and then Back to the undead purgatory. If we ever go back, I'm gonna save that one probably a little bit later. Maybe we'll go to Harvest Valley next week, or maybe we'll do some cleanup. Who knows? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll pick up here next week, so I'll see you all then. Bye!